Okay, so we're taking a look at the motion study. Uh, I've created uh, my assembly here. I've used the Elmer's 43 uh, engine. It's a, a model that we use in DR150, but it gets the point across uh, for what you need to do with your part. So I've got all of my parts constrained. Uh, I'm able to move the flywheel here, and you can see, and I've got everything constrained using centers. Uh, I've locked some rotation between some parts so that as I spin the flywheel, it allows the other parts to spin equally. Um, so that, that's all part of your assembly. Uh, so what we're talking about here is doing a motion study. Now to do a motion study, you come down to the bottom tab where it says motion study. Uh, and we have to put a motor on the flywheel to get the flywheel to move. So there is a motor tab here. I'm going to select on motor and we are using the rotary motor because we are spinning in uh, a, a, a circle. If I wanted something on a straight line, I could use the, uh, the line motor or the actuator. Uh, so using the rotary motor, I've got to have an edge, so I'm going to hit the edge of the flywheel. And then it shows me that it's going to rotate around the center, so that's what I'm looking for. Uh, currently it's set at 100 uh, RPM. I can change that uh, up or down as I so choose. Uh, and then I'm just going to OK that and apply it. SolidWorks will then time this out, and I'm actually going to move this out to 10 seconds, just so it spins a little bit longer. Uh, and you can uh, move that back shorter, longer, however you would like to uh, see that. Uh, so then I'm going to uh, come over here and just play it. And you're going to see that my part is actually rotating. The motor is controlling how fast uh, that flywheel is going to spin. Now I can do multiple uh, motion studies if I like. If I want to slow it down, I can come down here. Right click, create a new motion study. <clears throat> Let's put another motor on it. Uh, let's put a motor on this uh, this edge here, and this time let's say let's make that slow it down. Let's say 25 RPMs. Uh, I just chose 25 just because I know it's going to go slower. Uh, slow it down. I'm going to let this one go just for five seconds, uh, and then I can play it so I can get a little slower look at that uh, motion. Uh, so this is how our motion studies work. Now. I want to uh, submit a motion study for this assignment. So I went back to motion study number one. And right here, there is a save animation. So I'm going to hit save animation. Now I've already done this once, so I'm redoing it. Uh, so I've already got my uh, AVI file that it shows here, but I'm going to save over top of it. So I'm going to hit save. Yes, it already exists. I'm going to hit OK. I'm just okaying through all this. It's actually playing the AVI and recording it right now. So it'll take the uh, 10 seconds to record it. So once it's recorded, um, now it's done. And now I can go into that file. Let's see if I can find it here. And it's on my Elmer's engine. So there it is. So there's that file double click on it and now there's my uh, Elmer's engine AVI file um, so now you can submit this file uh, so you can also email it do lots of things with it uh, but it just gives you the motion so you can see that everything is functioning um, as need be so I hope this helps and uh, we'll see you on Thursday in class